In this video, I'm gonna show an infield drill that you can do to work on picks to your glove side. How this drill is set up, you're gonna have three cones in a straight line about five to six feet apart. Righties, you're gonna to start to the right. Lefties, you're gonna to start to the left. So because I'm a righty, I'm gonna go ahead and start this right cone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in a nice athletic position, making sure I'm bending. Partner's gonna say go. When my partner says go, I'm gonna to shuffle to my glove side to this next cone. So I'm gonna stay low and I'm gonna shuffle. When I get close to this cone, my partner's gonna throw me a pick right outside of my glove foot. I'm gonna pick it, toss it to the side, and then I'm gonna shuffle back to where I started. So I'm gonna shuffle again, staying low. When I get back to the start, I'm gonna tap the dirt with my glove. I like the tapping aspect here. It forces me to stay low. Right when I tap, I'm gonna shuffle all the way to that end cone, doing the same exact thing. So I'm staying low. When I get close to this cone, my partner's gonna throw me a pick right outside of my glove foot, and this time I'm picking it and then throwing it to my target. When you're doing this drill and you're picking the ball on your glove side, there's a couple things you wanna think about. First thing is you always wanna work ground up. So what I mean by that is when you are close to picking this ball off the dirt, you've gotta get your glove really close to that dirt, if not touching that dirt, because we want that ball to hit the ground and then immediately go meet that ball with our glove. If we start up and we let that ball hit and let it go high, we don't really know what that ball is doing. It's a lot easier to go ground up if we need to, opposed to starting high. We're just gonna be stabbing down if we have to go down and we're not gonna be as fluid. That's why for this drill, I like to incorporate the shuffle because it just forces me to stay low and I don't have to go very far down to that ground when it's time to pick that ball. Next thing you wanna think about is your glove movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my glove off for this, but when we pick a ball right off the dirt, we always want our fingertips to stay down and we want this flat wrist. What we don't want is to get down to the ground and then as the ball is going into our glove, flip our fingertips up. So right when this ball hits, my wrist stays flat, my fingertips stay down, and I go meet that ball. On the subject of our glove, for this drill, if you have to go outside of your body frame to go get that ball, you wanna go just one hand, so you only wanna use your glove. And I know coaches say use two hands. Absolutely, when we're younger, we go two hands. However, when we get older, the game starts to go very fast. We can't get away with two hands anymore. We gotta be able to trust our glove, so anything outside of our body frame, Frame, you go one hand, one you can reach further, and then two, it's gonna keep you a lot more fluid. Last thing you wanna think about is how you position your body. So we already talked about you wanna go one hand if you have to reach outside of your body frame, but with that, we gotta turn our body just a bit. I see a lot of this trying to go to our glove side. So we're staying square to where the ball was hit and the ball is over to our glove side. I can't reach as far and I'm not gonna be able to stay as fluid. So you wanna turn your body just a little bit. So think about your toes are pointed to where that ball is going so you can feel it, stay fluid, and then throw it to your target. And this is what it's gonna look like full speed. <laughs> 